Anderson, and happy to welcome you to the Sheldon for an installment of the Sheldon Online Academy. In this installment, I'd like to talk about practicing. Now, very often I think when pianists approach the topic of practicing, uh, immediately we begin to uh, feel dread because we think, well, this is drudgery. I'm going to have to repeat myself over and over again. <laughs> But the truth is, I think practicing um, is best approached as a kind of problem solving. So the important thing is when you're practicing, listen to yourself. And if possible, record yourself. That's actually the very best. And then listen to the playback. Um, but listen as carefully as you can. And the question really is, does your playing match the sound that you imagine? So I'd like to actually look at a few musical examples. The first is the very brief Prelude, uh, Opus 28, Number 10 by Chopin, uh, C sharp minor. <laughs> As someone uh, practicing this piece, there are a couple of issues. You have um, the triplet in the first half of each quarter note, and then you have straight sixteenths. So as you're listening to this, it might be easier to practice with no pedal just so you can hear very clearly and even a little more slowly, not so much for moving the hand and the arm, although that can be very helpful, but so you can get a sense of the rhythmic uh, relationship of these two eighths within each quarter. Um, for myself, I kind of like to spread it out a little more so it sounds a little bit more like five even notes. Um, there are different ways to play it, but that's my opinion. Um, so I'm not as concerned about this. Now we have also this question. Moving these chords down. Is the paddling working? If everything's working uh, according to plan, then you can move on to the next piece. Um, but this is a, a situation where I think because of the intricacy of that passage work and also that upper note, you can work on accenting that note, laying the hand down so the fifth finger is very clear. Um, you can isolate that question in practice. That'll enable you to make progress as well. Um, but in other words, what is underpinning the practice technique here is asking the question, how do I want it to sound? And then what do I need to change to make it sound that way? And then really isolating that. Now I'd like to take a look now at the beginning of Debussy's beautiful Claire de Lune, or Moonlight. Now it sounds floating because it's metrically very irregular. of this, I found it's important to practice rhythm in this particular piece because it can sound very undisciplined unless we have a very firm one, two, three, two, two, three, two, three. Now you can use the metronome. you really establish that steady pulse if you need it but I really think the best playing comes from a firm pulse that's internal so as soon as you can get away from the metronome and practice in such a way that you can think of the eights very firmly but also of larger beats the whole measure the whole system of time uh, in a very firm way that'll help to create both a coherent and a free and open sense of time in this piece and that'll create that wonderful moonlight atmosphere um, finally a WC prelude uh, this is the uh, vent dans la plaine, uh, the wind in the plane. Um, this is more of a technical study. We have a couple problems in this piece. Uh, we have this little note. You have to decide how you want to play it. Um, there are a couple ways I like to do this. I like to use this third finger here, but also maybe a, a scraping, so you can sort of uh, dip like a thirsty bird into the note, uh, or you can scrape along the top of the note with the finger. I like the scraping because it's a little lighter sounding to my ear. Uh, so that's one problem. The other is this repeated pattern, which is clearer. I like my third finger better in sound, so I'm going to use it regardless whether it's more comfortable. Now finally we have this line. We really need to bring that out. So this is a difficult
middle piece, um, as I would practice this, I would work to uh, make my right hand more regular, maybe fold a little pedal in, that sounded a little dry to my ear that time. So again, it's always a question of asking yourself the question, how does this piece really need to sound? And then methodically isolating elements of the musical texture so that you can work to your way toward making it sound just that way. Happy practicing. Thank you.